what is it that will stand the test of time? With aging comes decay too, inevitably. But can it also be reversed? Only time will tell. Throwback to the 1930s. This used to be a boarding school for boys from the upper class. Today, however, only ruins are left. The college is destroyed and overgrown. Its former grand splendor is fading into collapsed debris. What is the story behind all of this? We time travel to France again to find out what has happened and what is still to come. We ventured here, also trying to breathe life back into this place. Join our journey into decay. As urban explorers, we are guerrilla preservationists. So we try to conserve when those responsible fail to act. There are still plenty of 2022 urbex calendars available on our website. If you are interested in bringing home photos of our most intriguing explorations of the past year, visit bwturbex.com. Thanks for your purchase and the support of our channel. This time we are in the south of France. Surrounded by sprawling mountain ranges, we travel through the canyons of a national park. We are close to the Mediterranean Sea, but we are not here for sunny seaside holidays. Instead, we'll embark on another journey through time. This area is characterized by vineyards, but also sleepy hamlets. One of them is our destination. Between rolling hills lies Ardouan a small village that barely gets any visitors. But those who come mainly want to see this. A huge building complex, totally neglected after decades of decay. This is why we are here too. The remains are overgrown. Some of them blend in with nature perfectly. But we didn't come all the way just to gaze at this place from the outside. Entering this ruin is easy, since everything that could stop us is open, like the fence and the doors. Let's explore what we would like to call a mystic beauty. Unlike most of the places we present on our channel, this site is totally trashed. Large parts are just messy. Lots of these objects were left behind, back when the structure became abandoned. But it's also full of discarded stuff. Apparently villagers use this as a dump for their products that have lost value or are broken. They turned this once grand example of architecture into a symbol of the useless. Was steht da drauf, Till? 
Schulfächer. Musik 7,5. Naturwissenschaften 8,5. Mathematik 6,5. Geografie. Also ein Zeugnisbogen. Ja. Und Latein nur 5. Von William Lacombe. Ja, und Latein ist sah richtig schlecht. Il fait absolument. After seeing the interior, you can already guess. This used to be a college. Der war ein französischer Geografieunterricht. This was a religious institution with the typical architecture we've seen in other Catholic structures before. Like spacious rooms, but of course, also a chapel. You can see it on the other side of the inner yard. That's probably the part of the building complex that had suffered the most in recent times. What we are walking on is the collapsed roof. It came down a while back. The house of God is now flooded with warm light. This present dilapidated state of the property is a stark contrast to the elevated position and noble function the place had before. It's a site rich in history. Thousands of children received their education here, but also young adults from all over the south of France. Yet it all started way before that. Members of a monastic order, the so-called Benedictines, had founded an abbey here around 1860. Then, 50 years after, a bishop established a seminary at the location. This later became a boarding school for boys of the upper bourgeoisie. In the 1970s, girls were allowed too. It now was a co-ed college, but only photos are left of these happy times.
What is overgrown today, in the center of the square building complex, used to be a school garden. Enclosed also were vineyards and cherry orchards. It has all gone wild after people left, and nothing has endured. Former empty spaces are now filled with vegetation too. In our eyes, this ruin has the hominess of a biotope. Buildings are torn from nature by man. Materials like stones and beams are natural, even plastics in their own way. In ruinous conditions, it all becomes part of nature again. When a place is abandoned and starts falling apart, that's not a steady state, but a process. And as we are here now, we become part of it. ist ein riesiger Baumstamm, ein wirklich riesiger Baumstamm und ich habe keine Ahnung, wie die den hier gefällt haben. Guckt euch das mal an. Wenn ich neben dem stehe, bin ich vielleicht noch 10 cm größer. Hier ist der Stamm. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sechseinhalb Fuß breit. Der muss ewig alt gewesen sein. Also, eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf. Na, da fehlt auf jeden Fall einiges. 25, 26. Das ist schon ein bisschen größer. So viel ist unser Leben. Alter. Zeig noch mal, wie viel ist unser Leben? So viel. So viel ist unser Leben wert. Für diesen Baum. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 60. Yeah, we gave that up after a while. It's old, believe me. Oh. Sieht echt alles nicht mehr so gut aus. Hier muss man wirklich aufpassen. Riesiger Rest in der Treppe. Raus. Na, ich wollte mal gucken, was er so ist. Ah, ich habe nur einen wilden Tobi entdeckt. Wie sieht es da hinten aus? Lohnt sich das hier durchzukrabbeln? Scheinbar schon keine Antwort. Drüben ist eine coole Ah, da genau nach meinem Geschmack der ganze Ort hier. Richtig schöner Verfall. Ich halt schon ziemlich runtergerockt. Jo. Geht wohl auch so 20 Jahre oder mehr leer, würde ich mal sagen. Hier oben, was ist das? Ein Heizraum oder so. Ich sehe dicke Boiler oder sowas. Ja. Jo. Und das sind Umkleiden oder Duschen oder was ist das? Jo, Duschen. Ja, das 
Ага. Ist das ein Gesicht? Hier gibt es nichts mehr zu sehen. By the way, when we launched our drone, some residents who live next door to the old college were running out of their houses. They shouted at us and wanted to know if we had any permission to fly. But they didn't care about the abandoned area at all. They just told us not to film their properties. So much for keeping a low profile. Flamingo im Gefängnis. Flamingo frei. The building has suffered a steep downward trend in recent years. After the school closed in the 80s, the property was neglected. Now there is vandalism and graffiti everywhere. The place was also set on fire once. Explorers coming years before us could even take photos of the church with its roof still intact. Through the broken rooftop, not only here but basically everywhere on this compound, rain and wind can enter freely to speed up deterioration even more. By this process, various patterns of decay were created. Due to the severe state of decay, it's dangerous to enter the upper parts of the building complex. But we want to at least try. Ich glaube, die Türen liegen nicht ohne Grund hier. Guck mal, da hinten ist schon der ganze Boden mhm. eingestürzt. Und da kam die Decke runter. Ja, hat man von unten auch schon gesehen. Fuck, Alter, hier auch. Wie hier aus? Rechts? Naja. Na. Am besten drüber steigen bis zum Türraum. Ich, ich halte gerade hier an der Wand fest. Die ganze Wand. <lacht> die ganze Wand hält mich fest. Oh, Alter, das fühlt sich nicht gut an hier. Nee. Überall diese fetten Risse im Mauerwerk. Die Decke kommt schon fast runter. Ich glaube, ich gehe mal raus auf die Wendeltreppe. Oh. Okay. So, ich weiß nicht, ob man das erkennen kann, aber da ist die Stufe, die letzte Stufe. Und alles dazwischen haben die abgeschnitten. Theoretisch könnte man aber von hier drauf. One day, the building will collapse over the school bags, exercise books and blackboards that are still left in place. This site is actually much debated in adjoining communities. Since the early 2000s, several redevelopment projects have surfaced. One idea was to turn this into a tourist location. A hotel with a spa, as well as horseback riding facilities. But all of these plans have come to nothing.
to date there is not much of a chance that the former boarding school will be redeveloped, because its condition is desperate. A lot of money is needed, but the people from the surrounding hamlets cannot afford it. It's a relatively poor region. So the honest view is that even tearing down the structure would be too expensive, due to its sheer size. This means in the end, it's in the hands of time to complete this job. But it doesn't have to come to this. Rumor has it that the property could be bought for the symbolic price of one euro. Of course, it would need a viable idea for the building's future, as well as a complete restoration, which would cost millions. But by now, our channel has grown to a wide reach. Maybe someone could be found for this video who can then give the college a second life and a new meaning. Find more info on this place in the video description. These photos, by the way, were taken by our friend Toby Urbex. Our journey through time continues in 2022. France offers so many more abandoned places to explore that we'll feature in part 2 of the series. What we have learned so far is this. Those who travel to the past cannot change it, but with what they discover on their trip and bring back with them, they can change the future. This was our final video for 2021. We wish you a merry Urbexmas and a great start to the new year. For us, it'll take a while before we continue our front series. Before that, we want to share some other projects with you. But more on that soon. As always, stay curious and keep exploring.